here with uh, Guy Barnea, Olympian swimmer, um, five time in a world uh, championship, um, a couple of medals in European uh, champions. Uh, tell me, um, what do you like about swimming? Uh, what do I like about swimming? That's a very complicated question. I think uh, every swimmer has a love and hate relationship with the sport because it's really tough. Uh, it can also be really rewarding, you know, when you achieve what you want. So I think a couple of things that I really like about the sport is um, that you can always find something that you can get better at and you can see the results on the clock, you know, which is something, it's very cool. To, you, you change something, even if it's like the smallest thing, um, and, and you can see the results right away. But, but sometimes uh, you don't like the results. Sometimes you hate the results and you, and you want to quit and you want to stop doing what you're doing. Um, but I think it, it's just part of the, of the process, you know, and, and the tough ones, the ones who can look at this disappointment, you know, or, or this bad uh, performance in the pool and, and take a lesson from it and, and change something and become a better swimmer. I think it's the most rewarding process if you can do it right. And uh, when you're going to have kids, uh, do you think your son or daughter? Um, son. Son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think? Um, would you like him to be a swimmer? I would like him to know how to swim, and I think it's it's smart to put young kids, uh, you know, early on in, in in their lives to learn how to swim. And I think if he loves it and if he's good at it, he should do it. And. Uh, and if he's good at something else, he, ch he should do the other thing. Because I think he should do something that he's passionate about and he loves. And, and swimming, if you don't like it, then you, you're making a bad deal because you're in the water so many hours a day and, and it's super tough. And you need to love it and you need those rewarding moments in your career that you're doing well, you know, and, and you're getting a pat on the back and you're getting the medals and some, some fuel to keep you going. Uh, before we talked about a um, very amazing project with Kiel, uh, work with working with kids. ICL, yeah. So to tell me a little bit about uh, this project. Okay, so uh, Kiel is is uh, my sponsors, and we basically started um, this cooperation about two years ago, and uh, we wanted to do some uh, new model that uh, it's not only they're sponsoring me and you know I'm wearing their, their logo and everything. Here's the logo. Um, it also, um, I'm working with, with kids and basically one thing that Hill is doing, uh, they're giving back to the community, especially in the south of Israel, in the Negev. Um, there are a lot of um, clubs of kids after school that um, they need this kind of uh, support and someone cooking for them and some guiding. And basically I come once a month and I talk with these kids about uh, uh, goal setting and, and how to deal with disappointments and, and basically all the lessons and tools that I'm using every day and I think it could be helpful for kids to hear it when they're young and, and we do some cool activities in the subject and I feel like this is the most rewarding thing I'm doing in my, uh, in my schedule. And, and you have time, you have to be in the pool day and night all the time. You have to train, you have competitions in Israel and all over the world. Yeah. You have time to... Uh, you find the time, yeah. I feel like uh, I'm almost 28 now, you know, and, and I can't be... I can't be doing Very things... Old. <laughs> super old. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. And uh, it, it's not like when you're younger and, and swimming is everything you do. You know, you put all the eggs in, in, in swimming and, and this is what you do every day and you think about swimming all day. And I, I think it's very healthy to do some stuff outside of the water, you know, and, and we do have the time uh, between practices or nothing will happen if instead of uh, doing um, afternoon practice, I will do it in the morning and then I have the afternoon to go work with the kids. And I feel like this is giving you a lot of energy and, and diversity to your, to your schedule. So I think it's also helping my swimming doing other stuff. Okay, so we're going to talk with Guy with a couple of uh, amazing... What, what is it to, to be an Olympian swimmers in just a moment? 